Essentially, at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, Muslim Turkey set out to eliminate the Christian Armenian population. The Christian Armenians were a thorn in the side of the, of the Turks. Beginning about in 1910, culminating in 1915, a total of at least two million Armenians were slaughtered, were put to death, were left to die. My, my mother was eight years old when Turkish soldiers came through her village with orders to kill all the men. And she witnessed the death of her father. They came through the village and uh, uh, came into the home, shot the father dead before the mother and children. And uh, that began a, a history of which I am several generations later. I am much blessed. <laughs> Providence means seeing before, seeing on behalf of, and how good God has been to do both. The Muslim family that took in my grandmother at the death of her husband, the safety of the children in the orphanage and their rearing over the years, my father's choosing to be the one to come to the United States and the subsequent death of his brother in the old country. And then skipping ahead to my generation and to find my wife here, sit next to her at the first day of a class, eventually marrying, having children, uh, now they serving the Lord, he has led me and my family. He has preserved us, given us a ministry, which I never expected. And the rest is history, a history of history, the teaching of history for 52 years. I marvel at that. And coming to this stage uh, toward the end of days by the grace of God, and uh, still have a mind, though it's fading somewhat, and uh, a faith that has been confirmed over and over. What a privilege is mine. I'm most blessed, not in things of this world, but in matters that endure for eternity. I'm rich.